Stay down, but we're going to begin to moonwalk over to the right. And as you moonwalk, and just walk your hands over to the right, so you're getting a nice, now, open stretch through this uh, side bend along the left side of the body. You might practice and just try to bend the right leg only, keep the left leg pretty straight and grounded. And find a line of new space you can create through the left side of your body. And then very slowly back to center. And then over to the right. And the left leg can bend, the right leg stays a little straighter. Maybe you reach the right arm way beyond you so you can just take that stretch into new places. So maybe the left or the right hand reaches uh, longer. See where your body needs to be to create real transformation. We'll take a breath in here. And then exhale, slowly come back to center. Bend your knees deeply. Take a breath, look forward, and on your exhale, slowly draw in and up through your pose, through your spine, and unwind and express yourself into fierce pose with the bent knees. Good. Let's keep it at a sit bone distance right now just to feel the groundedness. Draw up through that pelvic diaphragm more, up the spine. Take a breath here. On your exhale, bring your hands to your heart, left elbow to right knee. Let's begin a twisting, detoxing sequence to help open us for our next arm balance. Now notice, it's harder without the legs locked together to keep those knees in line, but that means your sacroiliac joint might be off if your knees are off. So keep your knees in uh, one line as best you can. Lift up through the navel and face it towards the floor. Spin through the side abdominals even more. Top shoulder blade on the back, very nice. Now look down at the floor for balance. Take a breath here. Send that left leg straight back into a twisting lunge. breath here. Exhale, spin from the side abdominals. Take the top rib cage towards the bottom rib cage. Get a little more spin through that mid and upper body. Look down at the floor for balance. Unwind yourself, warrior two. So the back heel can ground just where it is, warrior two. Flying warrior to lift some of that foundational energy up through the spine. Lift your toes. Get straight through the legs, straight through the spine. Arms lift. Exhale, take it right back down, warrior two. Front row, take a look at me. Inhale, reach all the way up. You don't want to stay there forever. <laughs> there you go, straighten that front leg. There you go, exhale, back to your warrior two. So lift up through your toes. Get some energy lifting through the arches. And try not to be so linear with your arms, with your spine. Inhale, reach up. So we can begin to feel more as we do our own work, we can receive more of the prana and life energy it brings to us to do that. Otherwise, we're just flapping around from the outer body. Okay, exhale it down. One more time. Inhale, reach all the way up. This time, bring your hands to your heart center at Namaste. We're going to bring the hands down to the heart. Turn your heart forward and bend the front knee for Diving Warrior. Now keep the front knee bent but buoyant. And on your inhale, wave inside the front knee. Great for hip stretch as we start to move and stretch out a little bit with this heat. On your exhale, we're going to stretch behind yourself, side bend, like a reverse warrior of spine. Inhale, dive inside. Try to brush the knee with your right shoulder if you can. Exhale, stretch it back. Good. Inhale, dive inside. Bring your thumbs to your uh, forehead. Rest the head down and plant your feet down. Plant your feet down and lift your toes higher. Keep going. Plant your feet down. Let the intensity build in that front thigh. Good. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale. Release those hands shoulder distance in front of you and step back downward facing dog. Okay. Excellent. Lift your left leg high. Left leg lift. Now on your exhale, bend the right knee, and we'll try some core handstand hops. These are small, like half a shakti kick with the right leg. And left leg is going to stay lifted. Be careful, because that's a lot lighter than the shakti kick. So feel into it slowly. Very nice. Now on your next exhale, I want you to see if you can hop your right foot to the right thumb using that little kick. So the earth to core connection, really important. Hop the right foot forward to the right thumb. Keep the left leg lifted. Good. 
Press your right foot down to the earth. Offer your heart here. And on your exhale, begin to spin your right arm to the sky. Plant your hand on your sacrum, keeping the hips level, and wrap the shoulder blade on the back as you work with those side abdominals. But you also really plant the foot down into the earth, especially the outer pinky toe foot of the right foot down there that tends to want to lift with the pose. So keep that whole outer leg grounding down as you lift and spin. Circle the top arm all the way up and plant your fingertips down for Lakshmi kicks. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, we're going to stick the tongue out and go, ha, and kick. Ha, there you go. Inhale, knee to chest. Go, ha, ha, ha. Inhale, ha, ha. Inhale, ha, ha. Three more. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Back to Uttanasana. Offer the heart here. Woo, and full. Waterfall of Tanasana. Three of these. Inhale, draw up from the earth, starting to really open up. Hopefully, exhale. Full. Excellent. Good. Inhale. Now, inhale, look forward. Bend the knees. Slowly roll up to your fierce pose. If you like knees together for this one, fine. If you want to separate your feet and practice that. Just different variations. Depending on where you want your balance and your energy to be, what you want to work. Take an inhale here. Exhale, slowly, just pay. I'll just show you this one quickly while you're sitting here. We're going to slowly reach forward and go, ha, and stretch the legs straight. This is the fierce lion pose. We're just trying to get some of that excess energy to move through us mindfully. Exhale, ha, good. Inhale, float up. Exhale, ha, good. Three more. Ha. Good. Inhale, reach up this time. Exhale, hands to your heart, right elbow to the left knee. Here we go. Pump the breath. So I want you to hear the breath. This plays well in Brooklyn and New York City when I say pump the breath so much that if you were on the subway, other people would be scared of you. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. Ujjayi breath. So you want to hear it, you want to feel it. Now slowly look down at the earth. I want you to step your right foot all the way back, but wide. So keep that right foot stepped back and wide. There you go. You can be sitting bone distance. Wide is great anatomically. Now press down into your earth. Lift through your belly a lot. So it's going to want to collapse. You want to press down, lift up, get a nice long spine, and then begin to spin. Because without foundation, without core space, the pose will just constrict you. Take the breath in. There is a lot of Ramacharya going on. So you want to breathe into that inner body. Try to press some space and massage those organs. Good. Inhale here. Exhale it out completely. Look down at the floor. Stay out of the collapse of the foundation. Use it. Press down, warrior two. Should be getting very intense and fiery, and that's good. We want that to happen. Somewhere new is transformation for you. You're going to have to feel uncomfortable, though, to do it a little bit. We're going to use that fire now to pick up the toes, lift up through that inner body, and stretch. Exhale. Keep the lift as you drape that outer body down more. Use the foundation to help you lift up. Exhale. And let's take it two more times. You can plant the toes, but still get that same lift of energy, inner arches. And how about that golden egg? Take another one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Now last time, inhale, stretch. Take your palms together at the heart and bend your front knee. So if your tendency is to hold back, maybe go a little bit deeper. If your tendency is to rush ahead, maybe pull it back. See what's there for you. You're not going to lose benefits because you come up a little higher in the pose. All right, so on your inhale, wave yourself forward. Keep the feet pressing. Exhale, lift the golden egg and stretch. Good. Inhale, dive deep. Opening hips with this nice stable leg situation. I mean, it's good for the hamstrings. Right. Inhale, <laughs> but keep the feet active. Exhale. Last time, take it down. Take the thumbs to the forehead and bow inside. Lift up through that inner thigh area and the belly and wave the spine a little bit lower. If you keep pressing the feet down, you can fly the spine. So flight happens in every single pose, not just the ones you think of. All right, lift up through that belly. Exhale, unwind the hands, frame the front foot, turn to center, downward facing dog. Walk in place. Let's take a breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Release anything unnecessary. 
Good. Walk in a little bit for balance. Lift the right leg to the sky, square those hips. We're going to bend the bottom knee and take three hops, lifting the bottom knee towards the belly. As you press strongly through the hands, that golden egg lifts, and eventually we're going to hop the left foot to the left thumb like that. Okay, top leg straight if you can, bottom leg can bend to the chest. All right, slowly press that left foot down. Meet us here. Belly lifts, offer the spine. Circle the left arm up, and you're going to need to breathe a lot because this is not an easy pose, and it's definitely not my favorite pose because it feels too constrictive. I want to fly. I want to be free. But this is strengthening us to do all that stuff that we want. So take the pinky toe edge of that foot and the big toe edge and the center of the foot down on the heel evenly. Press, 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 press. It's going to start lifting the inner thighs and arches start lifting you up to this twist and the spin. Okay, top hand can be on the sacrum or higher. Take a huge inhale here. Exhale, slowly turn the fingertips down to the earth. Bring your right knee into your chest. Lakshmi kicks, detox. Exhale, ha, ha. Good. Inhale, ha. Inhale, ha. Inhale, ha. Three more, ha. towards one another, sit bone distance. Inhale, offer the heart. Exhale and fold. One, two more. Inhale. You can sigh it out. Exhale. For the last time, keep that golden egg lifted. Exhale. Beautiful.